Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and today we're gonna make a Minecraft axolotl that's 3D printable. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. Before we get started, this was made by sixth grader Drake. He is not in my class anymore, but he still keeps making awesome designs, and he's doing a good job following my rules for being 3D printable. So the rules are pretty simple. It's got to be seven centimeters or less. It's got to be about five centimeters or less, and then I also like them less than three centimeters. This way, they print fast in class, and then also he's making designs that are actually all connected. If you don't have your parts all connected, they don't print as well. And then the last really smart thing. He's got the fins aimed up, so as these print, they don't need support. They'll actually print pretty darn well on a decent printer. So friends, let's start assembling our own. Friends, the first step is to bring out a cube. When you get that cube, hold down shift, stretch it to crazyville, and then the number that I want you to type is 22, and press enter. Then we're gonna click on the height, and I'm gonna tell you to change it from 22 to 12, and press enter. Let's press Control D on that and move it to the back because we'll make it the tail as well. We're going to take the tail and instead of 22, we're going to make it 17 and press Enter. And then we're also going to take this 22 and make it a 24 and press Enter. Now let's orbit around. So I'm right click dragging and we want to make sure that part is connected. So we're going to put the work plane on this spot right here. W is the shortcut for work plane. Click on that part we just built and I want you to hit D to drop. Put your work plane back on the ground, select the two of them, and then we're gonna use the align tool, and we wanna make sure it's in the middle. Just like that, you've got the body of our awesome axolotl. Let's take those two parts and group them so they stay together. This is also a good time to check and see if you really had them connected, because if not, you'd have a gap or a bump there. All right, friends, let's make our gill. We need to bring out another block. This time I'm gonna tell you to hold down shift and shrink it, and I want you to type the number 11 and press enter. We're gonna change its width from 11 to only four, and we're gonna change its height to 7.5 and press enter. Now we need to cut in the little gills. We're gonna do that really slick by taking the first one and doing control D, move it to the side instead of 7.5. We're gonna make it 1.6 and press enter, and then we're gonna make it a hole. We're going to do control D, and then we're gonna do control up, and you'll see it raise up. I will use fit view so you can see this better. We're gonna do two, three for the distance that it goes up. And then we're gonna select those and make them a group. And then we're gonna take those items right there and we're gonna do a line, make the red one the master, and we want it in the middle, and we want it in the middle. And we are also gonna align it to the back. Now we've gotta move it forward so that it can be a fin. So we're gonna click on the hole Make sure you got the whole one, and we're going to go one, two, three, clicks out, and then you can group it, and friends, we have just made its gill, just like that. All right, friends, this next part is what makes it so that it can print all at once. We're going to click on the rotation handle, and I want you to go back 18 degrees. Make sure you get it like that. Hit D to drop so it comes up to zero. Switch to a five millimeter nudge. Do control D so we got a copy and we wanna go six clicks. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're gonna use the awesome mirror command to flip it so it's the other way. Hold shift and click both. And then I want you to make them a group. Let's do shift click so we can connect it to our axolotl. We're gonna do a line. We're gonna make the axolotl the boss and we want it centered. And we also want it at the front edge, which is this dot over here. I will use this view and zoom out so you can see that that's the one I'm clicking on. Now we need to move it back and I'm gonna spin it so you can see better. I wanna use that nudge and I'm just gonna go one, two clicks to the back. I'm gonna shut off my five millimeter nudge, go back to a one and I wanna do control up to raise it up, two clicks. I have just got my gills attached and we're gonna select them and we're gonna group those as well. Once again, friends, we are gonna be building with the red cube. Bring it out, hold down shift, and I want you to type the number five and press enter. Let's make sure we're looking at it from an angle. Find the height and we wanna change that to three. And we wanna change the length to the front to 8.5. So you'll have a nice rectangle to build off of. Let's quickly bring out a wedge for the toes. It's already aimed the right way. We need to hold down shift and shrink it. And then we want this side to be five and press enter. So that way it matches up in this direction. 
we're going to take this direction, we're going to make it 3 and press enter. And then we want this direction right here to be 4 and press enter. Notice it does move away from our shape. We just put the work plane on this, do D for drop, put the work plane back on the ground, and let's select those parts and choose a line. And we care most about this alignment right here. Right there is our... All right, friends, it's time to cut out the little holes. We're going to do that with this piece right here. Use your arrow keys to nudge it out, and we're going to change its width from 5 to 1 and press Enter. Change it to a hole, and then we're going to do Control d and we're going to nudge it out 1, 2, just like that. Make those a group, and then we're going to do Shift-Click to get the blue piece, and we are going to click Align, and we're going to choose the front, and we want it centered, and we want it moved all the way out. We're going to click on that, and then we're just going to nudge it one click forward. Friends, you just got your center toes. We need to quickly make the toe that goes on the side. We're just going to do Control d nudge it out so we can see better. Rotate it 90 degrees. Notice if you stay inside the circle, it's super easy. And then instead of 5, we want that to be 1.5 or 2 as we move it over to this side. I'm going to do W for work plane. Now if I click on that shape and hit D, it drops right out there. And then we want to do Shift Select and Align. And we want that toe to come all the way to the front. At this point, we've got the foot for that side of our oxalotl. We need to put the work plane back down, do Control D. And we need to move one this way. And we need to flip it just like this. Now we've got the foot for the other side as well. I'll nudge them so they're not connected. And then we can group both of those feet. Group and group. And bam, oxalotl feet, done. Let's quickly drop those into the place. I'm going to put the work plane over here, and I'm going to do D to drop. And then I'm just use that arrow key to nudge it down. I'm going to switch to the other side of my oxalotl. Work plane, once again, D to drop. And this time, instead of nudging it down, I'm going to shift select the other foot. And I want to do a line. And I want to make that foot the master. And I want to center them. So now they are lined up. Let's put the work plane back on the ground. I'm going to click on each one. So I'm separate. And I'm going to go one click in. And I'm going to go one click in. I'm going to hold down shift. And let's group those two. I'm going to nudge it to where I want and do control D and I'm going to nudge the other one back and boom, our feet are in place. Make sure you've got that so that you think it's cool. All right, friends, now that we're happy with the legs, let's group those so they stay where they're supposed to. Now we're going to build the tail. Friends, we're going to do that by putting the work plane on the back of our oxalotl. Bring out a round roof. Hold down shift and stretch one of these front ones. Make sure you pick the front ones. And we want to change it to size 15 and press enter. We're going to turn it around and we're going to make it a little thinner. I'm going to tell you use a black handle and then type the number 5. We do it that way so it doesn't accidentally nudge everything at once. Select the oxalotl that's now all grouped and make it the boss and choose center. And we also want it aligned to the back. At this point, we need to put the work plane back on the ground. Click on that blue line with it. Bring out the wedge and we need to rotate it 90 degrees. Make sure you can see it from a corner. And one of the easiest things to do is just type your 90 in that box. Notice that rotated too far, so I'm going to type 180 to go the other way. And now it is ready for assembly. We're going to change this width to 5 and press enter. And we're going to change this length to 50 and press enter. Hold down shift and click on the round roof piece. We're going to click center. We're going to make the round roof the boss. And we want to align to the end of the round roof and the middle of the round roof. Now we can click on our wedge and we can bring it back to this spot right here. Let's use F to fit view. We want to switch to the 0.1 millimeter nudge. And we just want to shrink this down until that part fits as close as can be. So there is my cool little groove and my tail is now in place. We're going to put the work plane on top of this, bring out a whole box, come all the way to the back of the tail, stretch it all the way past, and then we're going to simply group those three pieces. One click, two clicks, three clicks. Note it has three shapes and when you group it, it slices that nice and even and your tail is ready for adding a hole.
And then we want to cut through this, so let's actually put the work plane on our oxalotl. Bring out a cylinder, hold down shift, shrink it a little, and type the number 5, because that's how big my keychain holes are. I'm going to switch back to a 1 millimeter nudge. We're going to nudge it down and over and find the spot we want to put it. I'm going to look at it from the side. I'm going to make it more than 5 so it's easy to see when it pokes through on both sides. Work plane on the ground, friends, select those parts and group them. And you've got an oxalotl. It is just now time to add the face. We're going to do that by once again putting the work plane out there, bringing out a circle. I'm going to make the sides round so it cuts nice and round. Hold down shift, shrink it. And I'm going to tell you the size for this one is going to be 4 and press enter. Move that eye to where you want. We are going to push it in. I'm going to do control D. I'm going to nudge its twin across. I'm going to hold down shift and select the two of them and I'm going to make them a group. And the reason I do that is because now I can click on the oxalotl and the eyeballs, click a line, make the oxalotl the boss, and boom, now my eyes are right in the middle. Now I'm going to give you an option here. You can make a mouth the way I do or you can make a scribble mouth. When you bring out the round roof, it'll land this way. We want to look at it from a corner and we want to rotate it 90 degrees. We want to do D to drop it. We're going to make it thin so it's going to cut in. I'm going to squish it a little. I'm going to do control D. So I've got two of them now. The second one I'm going to make a hole and I'm going to just lift it up. So I'm using the arrow key and you can see that is going to make the little smile that Drake used on his oxalotl. So I need to edit mine real quick so that it goes all the way through. Let's make sure I get my nudges right. So I'm going to have to do control down to nudge it inside. Now when I click those parts group and you can see that it is a cute little mouth, we're going to make it a hole. I'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge it down. And let's do control down arrow to push it in. I'm going to use fit view to zoom in so you can see it better. Notice it's not centered. So I'm going to hold shift. Click on my oxalotl, choose a line, and let's find that middle dot just like that. That is a cute smile. I think I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, though. Let's click work plane on the bottom. And I'm just going to nudge it this way just a little, and I'm going to nudge it this way just a little. And let's do a line one more time. Axolotl's the boss. Boom. And I'm going to do control up arrow. That's where I think I want it to be. Friends, group it, and you have just made awesome axolotl. All right, friends, so I hope you understand all the things we did there to make sure that it was 3D printable. Everything's connected. They've got angles. It'll print all at once. That's what makes this an awesome design, and I'm hoping this also spurs you to create your own excellent things like Drake has been doing for me. Friends, if you ever do make something awesome, don't forget you can share it with me by clicking on this collaborate button, generate a link, copy the link, and then you can reach out and share it with me on Facebook, Instagram, or Gmail. I am HLModTech on all three of those. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HLTinkerCad. If those options don't work for your friends, don't forget I also have the website HLModTech.com. There is a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of awesome lessons, and it also has a built-in messaging tool. You could click this button, paste in a share link, fill out your information, and reach me almost instantly. Finally, friends, a huge shout out to Drake. Oh my gosh, love the way you designed, and thank you so much for taking time to share. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, maybe even hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below, and if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you wanna be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.